Hey YouTubers, this your boy Amari Points here bringing you the latest movie review. Today I'm doing my latest movie review on SpongeBob SquarePants, Sponge, SpongeBob SquarePants movie, Sponge on the Run. So basically, this movie is about how SpongeBob Snail Gar Gary, we all know him, we all love him, is snail napped. By is snail napped. So. So SpongeBob and Patrick have to go to the lost city of Atlantic City to go and get him back and bring him home. And basically this movie it did have a lot of jokes in it, but the story itself it was bland. I literally thought it was just bland. It didn't really it didn't really resonate with me because Spongebob himself, he's kind of been having a hit and a miss these days because of all the stuff, all the episode, new episodes and everything. But this movie was just, it was okay, but not that okay. Some of the jokes really landed, and some of them, and the story itself, again, bland. I didn't enjoy it that much because, well, I thought, after seeing the commercials for this movie at the beginning of the year I thought this movie was gonna be like really good but after I saw it it was just terrible the story really didn't make any sense and honestly I thought it could have been a whole lot more better if they made it more exciting but they don't get me wrong there are some parts of the movie that I really did enjoy like Spongebob meeting Gary at summer camp that was really really uh, enjoyable and I loved seeing the backstory of how like those two first met because it was heartwarming uh, to see them it was heartwarming to see how him how Spongebob and Gary first met because it was just adorable and really cute and we also get to see a lot of famous cameos in here such as Tiffany Haddish and Keanu Reeves who was playing the rolling hay he was playing Sage, who was basically helping, sorry, who was basically helping Spongebob and Patrick along their journey, along their journey to the lost city of Atlantic City. And, and he, it was funny seeing him as the Rolling Hay, uh, because it was just, it was just really funny and at the same time enjoyable because Keanu Reeves, he's basically been on a roll recently, and seeing him as seeing him help SpongeBob and Patrick on this journey was just phenomenal and really fun to watch. And also we get, and also we get to see like somewhat a preview of like the uh, new SpongeBob show, Camp Coral in a way because they're saying it's supposed to come out possibly next year and and I'm and honestly that really didn't make any sense because well I think that was something that we really didn't need to see the only thing that we needed to see was basically spun focusing on Spongebob and Gary and how they met and how Spongebob would go to the lengths to save his pet snail because that's what really that's what really matters in my opinion cuz because that's just what the movie is basically needs basically needs to focus on not on how SpongeBob met his friends and all that don't get me wrong I'm not against it but still it's just this movie should have focused on only SpongeBob and Gary and how they and how SpongeBob is supposed is trying to get his uh, best friend back, aside from Patrick, of course. Yeah, but all in all, still a movie that I think it will only resonate with kids the of this generation, and not with adults. Because again, when I watched it, I really didn't like it. I thought it was just I at at first. I thought it was going to be a really entertaining movie, but after watching it, I did not enjoy it so much. The one, uh, the one positive thing, I'm going on to the positives now, the positive thing is that we, again, we get to see Keanu Reeves as this, 
as this sage that's helping SpongeBob and Patrick on their journey. And it was exciting to see how he was just basically helping them. And another positive is these famous cameos that we're seeing in the movie. That we're seeing in the movie. That was the only thing that basically had it going. Had going for it, I mean. And and we get to see... And you... Well, you get to see a, a lot of familiar cameos in there. As, aside from all... Aside from Keanu Reeves, of course. Sorry if I can't talk today. I apologize for that. I apologize. Ah. I apologize for it. But again, one negative is that the story itself, it didn't make any sense. It didn't make any sense at all because the story itself was bland. I was expecting so much more from this movie that it, that I really was disappointed but it was still good it had a few heartwarming mo moments but the story itself i think it could have been a really whole lot more better than honestly just making it one of those movies that i really probably won't watch ever again i probably won't ever watch again and basically and basically probably never will at this point at this point because well, this Spongebob movie I thought I thought was really disappointing and I wish they made the story more interesting and more fun and exciting. This movie, will, I think, will only resonate with kids but not with adults, especially longtime fans who've been a fan of Spongebob for years because I think this movie, if you've been a Spongebob fan and you're an adult now, I don't think you'll probably enjoy this movie that much because it was just bland. The story itself was just everywhere. It was like everywhere and honestly didn't make any sense at all. Like literally, it didn't. And that's it for my positives and negatives. On to the rating, guys. I give Spongebob the movie, Sponge on the Run, a solid C. Because I did enjoy the jokes in there. Again... The story itself was just everywhere and it was boring. I really didn't enjoy it. But the famous cameos in this movie, Keanu Reeves and the rest of them I mentioned earlier in here made up for the movie because it was really funny and exciting to watch and enjoy. And enjoy. And that is what really made up the movie big time. Also, we got to see how Spongebob and Gary met. I can't quarrel. That was just a really heartwarming moment of the movie that I, that basically I, it was the only thing I actually well did enjoy in my opinion. That was the only thing I really did enjoy and basic and basically I think it was nice to know how SpongeBob and Gary met cuz I think that I think that's something the kids will love. And another thing the jokes again them the jokes really landed in this movie. I was really laughing so hard at most of the jokes in here. And I think a lot of other people will enjoy it too. Because you, you'll you definitely have a good laugh at some of the jokes. And again, if you're an adult and a long time Spongebob fan, I highly recommend skipping this movie. Because it really wasn't re-watchable re -watchable at all. And I'm probably never going to watch this movie ever again for a while. And that's it for my movie review, guys. Don't forget to like, comment down below, subscribe, and share with everybody you know. And press the little notification bell at the bottom of my video to get notified when my next movie review is going to be. And be sure to follow me on the Stardust app at Amari106 for my latest movie slash trailer reactions. I will see you guys soon. Take care and God bless. Peace.